my class. In this video, we are going to continue the discussion on the lung. In the previous video, we have introduced three lung excess syndrome. It can be either exterior excess or interior excess, the lung cold, the lung heat, the blend dampness. In this video, we are going to introduce another two of deficiency. Firstly, the lung qi deficiency. The lung qi deficiency, this deficiency can be from the body constitution. So this patient always have deficiency even before the disease. It also can be affected by the pathogens. The pathogens cause deficiency. It can be the lung qi deficiency or lung yin deficiency. Patient may present as cough, but this cough, the sound of the, the cough is very low. So from what's the difference from the cough, the lung heat, the dampness, and the phlegm, those are excess syndrome. You will see very clear, loud voice, even with the, the, the cough, with the, the, the noise of the phlegm. A lot of phlegm, mucus, the lung qi deficiency. This cough, you can feel it's very soft. <coughs> this kind of cough. The other cough, the patient may present it. <coughs> you see the difference from the voice is stronger and weak. This can help you to identify deficiency and excess. This is the diagnostic method from listening. The very strong cough. You sometimes when you feel when you hear the noise from the, the flame, which is very similar to when you use the straw, you blow the water, the, the air into the, the water, the kind of bubble sounds. Those are the flame. So that's the diagnostic from listening. Lung qi deficiency, the cough, the weak, the sound is weak. The patient, because of this is a deficiency, the lung qi deficiency falls in the category of qi deficiency. The patient may present as short of breath, reluctance to talk, low voice, so it doesn't speak loudly, pale facial complexion, fatigue, spontaneous sweating, a pale tongue with thin pulse. In the treatment, because of this is a deficiency, we're going to tonify the lung to help the lung to regulate the qi, to tonify the spleen, tonify the qi. On the kidney, Receiving the qi, this is actually the function of the qi. So as you can see, for our treatments, we're going to focus on the lung, firstly, because this is a lung qi deficiency. We're going to focus on the spleen, that's where the source, the acquired qi comes from. We're going to tonify the kidney, that's the original, the, yuan, the original qi, where the innate qi comes from. The treatments, we're going to use a combination of acupuncture and masturbation. Tonifying techniques focus on hand tai yi meridian, foot tai yi meridian, foot tai yi spleen meridian, foot sao yi meridian, foot sao yi meridian, in the kidney meridian, ren meridian, the Ren Meridian is the meridian, the, the, the sea of the Yin Meridian, and related to the, and related back to two points. So we can use Lung 9, Spleen 6, Kidney 3, Ren 17. Ren 17 is the, where the Qi gathered. So this is also a very special point. Ren 6. Again, the sea of the qi, 
room 4, spleen, stomach 36, bladder 13, bladder 20, bladder 30, 23, bladder 23, sheng shu, sheng, the kidney. So we have introduced bladder 20, bladder 13, bladder 23. This related to the lung, 20 related to the spleen, 23 related to the kidney. These three points you also can use as a set of prescription. You're going to choose from three regions. This order, there are only three points. If you use both sides, there are six points. This Prescription, this kind, this set of prescription is very useful because you're treating on three regions in the upper jaw, in the middle jaw, in the lower jaw. These points are also related to the specific organs, the lung, the spleen, and the kidney. These are one of the most important points for the lungs problem, more specifically. Problems related to the qi disorder. This qi disorder, why I don't use cough? Because qi, qi disorder doesn't have to be cough. It also can be other symptoms. Anything related to the qi, you can use the three as a set. The lung insufficiency. The lung yin deficiency may develop from the body constitution as well. So this patient always has yin deficiency. It also can develop from the wind heat. The heat that's the consume the body fluid for yin deficiency. This patient also may present as cough. But this cough it's a dry cough, so there's no phlegm. Even if the patient has phlegm, it will be scanty phlegm. So there, there are not too much phlegm. Some, the phlegm will be sticky because this phlegm has been concentrated. Because of the heat, why the volume of the phlegm is little? little because of the heat. The heat. Once because of the insufficiency, the, the patient doesn't have enough fluid. So if you reduce the volume of the flame, the second, the indeficiency may affect the, the heat, may have the deficiency heat, the heat. You concentrate the, the flame, make the flame sticky. The patient also may cough, coughing with blood. Dry throat, hoarse sound, hoarse voices. Skinny, thin body constitution. The heat, the favorite sensation in the palms and under the soles. The patient may present as tidal fever, night sweating, red tongue with less coating, the so red tongue with no coating with less fluid or dry coating. Thin rapid pulse. Why the pulse will be thin? That's because of the indeficiency. We don't have enough fluid in the body. Rapid. That's because of the heat. Defic indeficiency may result in deficiency heat. So these are the common manifestations of lung indeficiency. We're going to use acupuncture. We don't use that much more special. We're going to use re reinforcing techniques or even manipulation for indeficiency with deficiency heat. We're going to focus on hand tying, foot sawing, and related back shoe points. Lung nine, lung one, lung five, lung seven, lung six. Lung 6 is very important for coughing blood. Lung 10, kidney 3, kidney 6.
kin 6 and kin 3 are important for nourishing in rather 13 rather 23 rather 43 After all these discussions, especially after our study for the Zhangfu differentiation methods, I hope that you will remember that the full name of the meridians. For example, whenever I say the hand tie, you need to reflect immediately to the Lang meridian. For the Saoi, the kidney meridian. For the Yang Ming, the stomach meridian. So these are very important. Diseases that are related to the large intestine, you mainly focus on the digestive system as the function of the large intestine. It transports the food and fluid and transforms into waste. It's the dysfunction of the large intestine. The patient may present in something related to the digestive system, such as abdominal pain, the noise in the in the abdomen, diarrhea, constipation, or hemorrhoids, or even appendicitis. In Lin Shu, the second volume of the Huangdi Neijing, it describes that the large intestine and small intestine belong to the stomach. This relationship, this connection, can be seen from anatomy. The, the connection from the stomach, large small intestine and large intestine. It also can be explained from the functions. All these organs are related to the digestive system. So the diseases that are related to large intestine have a very close relationship to the lung, spleen, stomach, small intestine. In the treatments, we will focus on the foot yang mi meridian, the stomach meridian. The large intestine with excess syndrome. Reducing the food retention, smooth, smoothing the qi of four organs, the excess syndrome. The excess syndrome of the stomach, uh, of the large intestine, mostly due to food retention. This is more specifically in children. So mostly food retention. It also can be damp heat. Damp heat is also a kind of excess syndrome. We can use acupuncture. We, we reduce the meth method. We don't use motivation. Commonly use. Room 12, stomach 25, stomach 36, stomach 37, stomach 15, pericardium 6, sanjiao 6. Sanjiao 6 is a, is a very specific function for constipation, which means it can activate the qi circulation in the large intestine. Room 12. It's the ground move points of the full organs. As you can see here, the excess syndrome, we use the front move points. Tian Shu, turn, to turn against the belly button. This is also a very, very useful point on the stomach meridian. Stomach 36, stomach 37. Stomach 37 is a low C point of the large intestine. Spleen 15, pericardium 6. The damp heat in the large intestine, the patient may present a abdominal pain, the stool, the sticky stool, or after the bowel movement, the patient doesn't feel relief. The patient still feels that they want to go to the toilet. This kind of sensation. The stool can be smelly, yellow. 
Then after the bowel movements, the patient may have a kind of sensation around the anus, like hot sensation, the heaviness sensation, and sometimes the diarrhea with blood. The patient may present as fever, thirsty, scanty urine, and yellow urine. The tongue will be yellow, greasy yellow, and rapid slippery pulse. All these symptoms are due to the damp heat goes through the large intestine. The excess syndrome of the large intestine, the patient may present similar symptoms, the especially constipation and the heaviness sensation of the, of the anus. But this abdominal pain, the patient doesn't like, so they don't like to be put pressure on because they feel worse. This is an, an excess pain. The patient also may present its ulcers in the large intestine due to the heat. In the treatments, you're going to clear the dampness and the heat. You're going to smooth the qi and forgums. As you can see here, the treatment principles sometimes are very similar. The reason is that these are the principles. As long as they excess or heat, you can use similar principles. Still, we use acupuncture, we don't use mosebasha. You can use Rome 12, Summer 25, Summer 36, Summer 37, Large Intestine 4, and Large Intestine 11. As you can see these points, some are points related to the Large Intestine and Stomach. Some points are very good at clearing the heat, such as Large Intestine 4 and Large Intestine 11. Large intestine deficient syndrome. Deficiency syndrome may happen in patients for chronic diseases, especially chronic diarrhea, chronic diarrhea with blood, or diarrhea with mucus. The patient may present as a loss control of the bowel movements, diarrhea, or collapse of the anus. So the, the place of the rectum. Abdominal pain. This abdominal pain is mild pain. So this is different from the excess syndrome. The excess syndrome can be a sharp pain. And the deficiency syndrome, the patient may feel the pain, but this is mild pain. The patient will prefer warmth and prefer pressure. Whole lumps. Pale tongue, a white slippery coating. The pulse can be thin, weak, and pulseless. So this patient may present as chronic diarrhea, chronic diarrhea with blood, or collapse of rectum. In the treatments, the treatment principles, we're going to tonify the qi. We're going to recover the qi's rising function, moving the yang qi upwards. When we want to move yang qi upward, we're going to focus on spleen and stomach. We can use muscle function. We also can use the combination of acupuncture and muscle function. If we use acupuncture, we're going to use the reinforcing technique. We can use the room 6, room 4, room 12. As you can see here, we use similar points. But we may use, we will apply very different, different techniques. Do 20, do 1, stomach 36, stomach, bladder 20, bladder 21, bladder 25. Bladder 21, Wei Su, Wei, the stomach, 
rather twenty five. 大肠书，大肠 is a large intestine in Mandarin. Two one. Normally we don't use acupuncture. We have we can, but normally we don't. We can use small suction if you want to use. Large intestine cold syndrome. This syndrome is due to the cold pathogen. Or the the cold pathogen can be bacterial pathogen or from the food. The patient eats the cold food. They drink the cold beer. Or eat a lot of a sushi. So this may do may result in large intestine cold syndrome. The patient may present as Abdominal pain, diarrhea, white greasy coating, and the pulse may be deep and slow. In the treatments, we're going to warm the internal organs, expel the coldness, relieve the pain, stop diarrhea. We can use multi-pressure and and multi-pressure. The combination. We're going to use the purging method because this is a Excess syndrome. Although it is cold, the patient presents as coldness, but this coldness is not due to yang deficiency. So, if we use the moisturizer to relieve the cold, we have to use reducing technique from acupuncture. We can use the round twelve, stomach twenty five, stomach thirty six, stomach thirty seven, bladder twenty five, etc. The last syndrome in the large intestine, in the in intestinal dryness due to fluid insufficiency. This is also a, the the direct translation. The dryness in the intestine is obviously there's fluid insufficiency. This patient may have the body constitution of yin deficiency. So that's in general. This patient always has yin deficiency. In the meantime, the patient may suffer from the heat, heat disease, or heat pathogen, or chronic diseases. The chronic diseases also may affect the heat, may may affect the yin, cause yin deficiency. The heat can consume the yin, so the patient may present as Dry stool, constipation, even only have the bowel movements only for a few once in a few days, and the stool is like the so the the traditional or the original translation it says that the the stool is like the stool of the cow of the of the sheep. When you see the the stool of the sheep. Is one piece by one piece. That's because of the lack of fluid. The dry, the dry mouth, dry throat, and red tongue, less fluid, yellow dry coating. The the pulse hesitant and thin because of the dryness, because of the lack of fluid. In the treatments, we're going to tonify the in, tonify the fluid, we're going to increase the fluid in the intestine. We also can you, we also have to relieve the constipation because this patient, when they come to you, they already constipate for a few days. And then you said, I'm going to tonify the in and fluid doesn't matter, don't care about the the constipation. Patient still don't feel doesn't feel comfortable because of the constipation. So in this kind of treatments, we 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 need to know which one is urgent, which one we need to focus immediately. We also need to keep in mind that the tonifying tonification of in and fluid it won't be achieved in a few hours or in one or two days. Because these products need a process 
it, it takes time. But the quality patient, we can help them immediately. Which points are we going to use? Sanjiao 6, Zigo. So for quality patient, you can use Zigo, you can use Stammer 25, Tianshu, Zigo. These, these points are very effective for quality patient. For this treatment, we will mainly focus on acupuncture. We will focus less on motivation. We use hornifying technique or even technique. It depends on how much heat this, this patient has. We can use the large intestine 4, stomach 36, stomach 37, pericardium 6, sanjiao 6, kidney 3, kidney 6, another 25. Again, we mentioned kidney 3 and kidney 6. These two are very important for yin deficiency. So in lung de yin deficiency, we also have mentioned kidney 3 and kidney 6. Summer 37, anything related to the large intestine, we can use summer 37, even acute appendicitis. If the patient is waiting to go to the hospital for the surgery, while waiting, what can you do? The patient suffers from severe pain. What can we do? What can you, what can you do to assist? So for acute appendicitis, we're not suggesting to replace the surgery with acupuncture. We are not suggesting that you, you're going to convince the patient you don't have to do surgery, you can do acupuncture only. But in the other situation, the patient has booked for 911, has, has called 911, but the 911 need to take one or two hours to come to you because of the traffic. The patient is in pain, what can you do? We do a technique, number 37, to relieve the pain. We see how the effect it is. Sometimes the patient may be relieved immediately. So it all depends on the individuals. And then the, we, in this situation, why we say acupuncture for emergency, we, use, we save time for the further diagnostics, the further treatments. So for this, when we see a patient like this, or whenever you, you experience similar situation, you, you will never ask the patient to assess the treatment without further, exam, without further examinations. This is unprofessional. The, even acupuncture can relieve uh, the append, appendicitis effectively after the, the relief, after the pain relief. You still need to ask the patient to go to the hospital to double check, to have a further examination, to have the, the further diagnosis. And then we can discuss whether to go through the, the surgery or not. But you should then stop the patient once to have further examination, once the, the symptom relieves. That's for the safety of the patient, that's also for the safety of your practice. That's why it's very important to understand the diseases, the nature of the diseases, as, as, as well as the modern examination. The modern pathological uh, pathogenesis from conventional medicine, what are the mechanism of this disease? What's the prognosis? What's the development? What's the, what are the prognosis of those diseases? In this video, we have many discussed the deficiency, deficiency syndromes of the lung as well as the large intestine diseases. It relates something related to the large intestine. Something related to the large intestine and many focus on the digestive system. In the next video, we're going to continue the discussion 
on a stomach meridian and diseases that are related to the stomach. Thank you for your attention.